Wildfires are extremely manpower intensive. Hundreds or thousands of acres in size, you have a number of aircraft that are moving in and out. That makes the job inherently dangerous. An unmanned system removes the risk of personnel being endangered and provides a level of persistence that manned systems typically don't. It makes firefighting easier because we're now able to provide better information. By using infrared on ScanEagle, we're able to see areas that we may not think are on fire that actually are. This provides more situational awareness so that better decisions can be made in how to control those fires. A next control is in situ's ground control station that will be able to control multiple types of unmanned systems. What we've done is we've taken the HoloLens, which is a mixed reality headset, and we've taken that critical map display and put it in three dimensions. Just drag the aircraft on a map, and the aircraft knows how to fly its orbit or point its sensor automatically. Now, four or five people can all put on the HoloLens and be looking at that same map in three dimensions inside of a room, flying an unmanned vehicle and, and working in a 3D space. It becomes almost like in a Hollywood movie. An exit control with the HoloLens today is like a real-time strategy game. You can see all the manned aircraft, all the unmanned aircraft, uh, the fire teams on the ground. For a, a fire chief, 3D becomes a valuable tool to get better contextualization of what's going on. In the future, an exit control will be able to control an entire fleet of unmanned systems to perform many missions that could be difficult, if not impossible, for a traditional operator to accomplish, from fighting wildfires to observing crops to inspecting railways.